All right, here's uh, another case study using the uh, chain battle drill. And here's our little patterns. All right, so on this on this trade frame here, we have a successful one R move in a hybrid frog. Embedded in there, you can see an RLCO. The RL10 has crossed the river here. The 30 has turned up. The dragon is curling up. So we just enter. Our initial stop is below the lowest low of the RL10, that's here. I'm going to leave that stop in place until the Z uh, turns up. So this is where the Z2 starts turning up. And then we can use the uh, Z2 line as our stop. Really, at, the, at this point, uh, you'd be well advised to just go ahead and make it the RL90 or the Bollinger Band main. And just take your exit. And now, when the previous two dragon humps are exceeded, and you have this you almost have another one, two, three, four pattern here. The RL10 is in the pocket. Let's call this the pocket trade or the elbow. You're in the elbow right here. In the same way you're in the elbow right here and here and here and here and here and here. And here and here and it works until it stops working and the RLX uh, RLXD gets you out. Uh, so when it clears these two humps of the Dragon low risk entry lock it in. This is where I would say I like to uh, sorry. Uh, after we get that second move I like run it up here And, uh, and really, really shave off the edge of the southern skin of the dragon to make sure that I'm preserving that nice gain. Same thing here, it wouldn't offend me if you tighten that up into here and just uh, and took that. Because you've got three in right now, the fourth one, pretty un unlikely. Uh, so that's an 80 cent move. And now we've got a sideways quiet channel forming here with the Z3 pinch. So you got to reset your brain and look at this in terms of new new patterns. So you got to get to the zero state <sighs> clear and now see what you get. Ken Law from Tortoise Capital. Keep your wrist measured and powder dry.